Hello, hello, happy Sunday, happy Sunday to y'all. How y'all doing this fine Sunday? Let me say my grace and I'll tell y'all what I got. And we'll have us a little chit-chat. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come for you today just to say thank you, God. Thank you for blessing us with the gift of this day, allowing us to open our two eyes with a portion of health and strength. We don't take it for granted. We appreciate you, God, for your grace and mercy that you give to us in our lives each day. Lord, we ask you to bless those right now who need a special blessing, a healing touch from you. We know one touch from you will heal all afflictions and all addictions. And Lord, we just thank you in advance for your deliverance. We thank you for blessing us with food to have to eat today, Lord God, for nourishing of our money, body. Lord, we thank you for no matter how much these prices go up, you still providing for us to have meals. We ask you to bless those who have not a meal today, Lord God. Please fulfill them and sustain them, Lord God, until they're able to get their next meal, Lord God. And for those of us that have, Lord, let us be a bless, blessing to those that who, who do not have. We thank you, dear God. Amen and amen. Amen, amen. Y'all, so today I told y'all I got these pork chops. I asked Emma if she want me to season her. She don't want me to season them. But I put it on my grill. I got me a barbecue pork chop. It's some spinach and onions. That's what I got today. Hmm. Want me some of this spinach here. And I use that oven. Uh, you know that juicy barbecue sauce. And I just did this on the tabletop grill. You know on the countertop grill. So, y'all, I'm going to talk today. Are you letting your bias affect your service? You know, I'm going to explain this to you. Oftentimes, people of color will go into restaurants or even stores, and a person bias will base that they're going to either steal based on their appearance, or the service may think they are not going to tell. They're going to act a fool and they're going to clown, right? Oftentimes, we'll see a person that may be in a need. They may not be dressed appropriately. Maybe a homeless person may ask for something on the street. Are your biases preventing you from serving? You have an attitude saying, well, they can go to work just like I can, not knowing the circumstances that landed them in the situation. So your bias prevents you from serving from helping them, which is what God wants us to do. So you have to ask yourself, are your biases preventing you from serving? You wonder why you have knowledge, but you won't share your knowledge at work, say on the job. You're refusing to help because it's a younger person that you feel like they or may going to take your job when in fact you are going to have to leave one day. So why not share that knowledge? Just because that person is younger and may have a sprite of mind, you might can learn from them. And to be honest, well, they might not even want your job. Today, ask yourself, are you allowing your biases to prevent your service? And I want you to think about something. Think of how many times people have looked at you in your life and said, well, this person could have, would have, should have. Or they're not going to amount to anything. So they refuse to help you. But God, you made it anyway. I want you to think back to when you was in those situations. And we are to extend the love of God. And like I said, it's a blessing that God blesses us to be a blessing. Do you have money to point at people? Maybe not.
but you always have something to pour into people to uplift and encourage them. And I got this to put at my front door. I need to get an easel. It's a little ledge at my front door when you walk in so people can see this. And it says on here, God says that you are unique. And it can be found in Psalms 139 and 13. You're special. Ephesians 2 and 10. You're lovely. Daniel 12 and 3. You're precious, 1 Corinthians 6 and 20. You're strong, Psalms 18 and 35. And you're chosen, John 15 and 16. Do you believe these things that God says about you? God is not a man that he should lie. So if God says all of this about you, the same people that you have biases on, these same things, also applies to them. Don't let your bias stop you and prevent you from giving good service based on your preconceived notions about a person. Okay? That's my soapbox for the day. Anyway, how y'all doing this fine day? And what y'all cooking good? What you been doing today? I was just telling Amber, we've taken quite a bit out of the book. Because <clears throat> some of it was very repetitive. So I didn't want to get into that. Although some things are meant to be repeated in the, in the next one. So, it's there. And we see what the date is going to be released for the next one on Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. And if that date changes, I will let you know. However, the plan is to do a live where you can ask me questions. I will be doing a live on December the 9th at 5.30 p.m. Central Time. But I'll announce it again before then. And if you want to submit your questions before then, you can submit questions in regards to the devotional because we will be discussing the devotional that day or any other questions you may have to ask. And I'll, because it's hard for me to read, so the comments sometimes, so that's why I'm announcing it so soon. That's almost a month away. Um, you can submit your questions then at that time. My plan is probably going to be an hour long live. My plan is to read two devotionals out of each one of the books. And for those of you who have the current devotional, you can make some suggestions and I will read the two that are most um, asked for in those suggestions. And of course, by then, you some of you may have the new book by then and you can pick two out of the, uh, that book as well. If you don't, then I will pick two out of the new book, the new devotional. So uh, I'm planning for on December the 9th at 5.30 Central Time, we will be doing live. I hope that a lot of you all can join me you know, in that time again, like I said, I will announce it before then. You know, I don't do a lot of lives. That's why I'm kind of telling you before. Um, you can send me a question then as you see fit. I will keep a record of them and I will probably be talking off that, those questions during that particular live. Okay. I'll tell you what, my knee popped when I was in that kitchen. This pork chop was good. What did y'all cook today? 
So I got dinner for tomorrow. And hmm. I meant to order some chicken, but I forgot. But I made some tuna salad. And I got some shrimp burger. And that's not gonna last. I'm gonna fix a thing of broccoli for a few days and eat some salad for a few days. So, mm. I'm actually full. Y'all, I had the best dressing. It was so good. I guess because I really wanted it. But it was really good. Emma went and picked it up yesterday. Uh, Y'all cooking. I don't need to have it anymore because I don't eat it that often. So it was good enough. I had enough. It was a small. I ate part of it for lunch. And I ate the other half for dinner. But I enjoyed it. And for those of you not a premises of keto as far as I know. Who's joining in on Monday. Uh, so far is uh, Jimmy. And Gabrielle and someone else said they were going to do it as well. I forgot. Uh, pardon me. I forgot. I, I apologize. And one person asked me, now as far as I know, you're supposed to restrict your carbs down to 20 carbs, to grams of carbs a day. So mainly it's protein and green vegetables. It pretty much excludes fruit except for berries. And you have to still be very careful with the berries. So I'm not going to be doing much fruit at all. I had some apples on my grocery list that I actually took those off so I wouldn't be tempted to eat them. So, um, so my goal is, I will have some cauliflower though, um, but my goal is mainly to stick to like uh, green beans, broccoli, spinach. Um, you have to be careful with some of the greens, but I will eat some greens for Thanksgiving. Um, these are the vegetables, zucchini and squash. I will be eating that, of course, lettuce. Um, those are my plans for my vegetables over the next 30 days. If I decide something else, I'll let you all know, you know, what those particular ones are. But, you know, and I will uh, switch out my protein from seafood to um, ground turkey um, and chicken. Is my plan. Of course, I have another pork chop for it tomorrow, but I made it a personal choice not to do beef, but I do have some spaghetti sauce in the freezer, and um, I'm going to have some of that, which has beef in it. That will be the only beef I will eat because I'm going to eat some of that over some Miracle Noodles. I was just planning out my meals for the month. I'm going to eat some of that over those uh, shiitake noodles that I got from Bariatric uh, Pal. So, uh, that's going to be my meal plan for this following month. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to say I'm not going to have a treat. When I do, of course, I will eat boiled eggs, packs of tuna, celery, cucumbers. You know, the cucumbers is my jam anyway. Um, uh, some cheeses, but I have to not eat a whole lot of cheese, but I will be eating some cheese. And what else? Like I said, I will give myself a treat every now and then, but when I do, I have to still be cognizant of the fact that those are taking up carbs. And I still don't want to go over that 20. So that's as far as I know now. I'm no keto expert. There's a such thing as 30 keto and clean keto i'm not trying to figure out which one i'm gonna do i'm gonna see how far i have i think three slices of keto bread left in there and i will eat those but i haven't ordered anymore and i'm gonna see how i can go without throughout the month without actually ordering any because I have some of those keto carb balance wraps 
that I need to eat up. So I'm going to concentrate on eating those. That's in the refrigerator right now. I'm gonna concentrate on eating those. So don't think I'm not gonna have. So I'll have like a turkey and cheese wrap with lettuce and something, but it will be on one of those carb balance wraps, which has like five, you know, five grams of carbs in it, if I'm not mistaken. And the little, um, the little ones I use for the little tacos, you know, I'll have something like shrimp tacos. I'll use those for the taco ones and, um, has a bone so yeah that's my plan for the for the month and i have something and i'm gonna make some cabbage soup with some ground turkey is what i'm going to do uh one day this week i'm not sure which day um so if you all have any suggestions let me know because we want to make this thing and do this thing and try to make it out 30 days. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Wow. I'm going to do this for 30 days for Christmas. I'm gonna find me a piece of pecan pie and I'm gonna have that. That's gonna be my Christmas dessert that I'm gonna treat myself to. For Christmas, I told y'all, it's been about a month ago, I left that pecan pie up there at Captain D's. But for Christmas, that's gonna be a treat to me. And um, like I say, it's very rich, but that's one of my favorite pies that my dad used to make at the holiday. And I don't eat a lot of it, but I do want a piece for the holiday, so. I'm going to treat myself with, with that. So, I'm going to try to stay on the straight and narrow. And if I should fall, I'm going to be honest and tell you. But we in this thing, y'all. We got it. And if you're not doing keto, whatever you're doing, let's go. Let's get it. And I know you say, Thanksgiving coming up. Hey, if you got to eat on Thanksgiving, get back on your plan. But I'm going to do my baby. Some grilled meat and greens anyway on Thanksgiving. So, that's that on that. Anyway, I'm going to get off here. I want you to know you love. Thank y'all for joining me, stopping by and seeing me. You know you love. I love you. But God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. And don't let your bias stop your service. Much love. Bye.